All right, starting. What's up, everybody out there in 420 land? This is the host of the One Stone New Podcast, Brian Castle. Um, just want to say thank you in person to everybody who supported who, who was supporting me recently. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all the, uh, I guess you call them donations or whatever. The, when you, you know, on the Anchor app, it gives you, um, it gives you an option to uh, help the show out and donate. I, I don't remember exactly. Oh, support! Hit the support button. That's right. Um, and uh, that'll help me out, so I can get new equipment. I'd rather have a camera rather than a phone. I'd rather have a microphone rather than a phone. And I'd rather have earphones instead of talking into a speaker or these little earbuds that I wear. Um, anyhow, coming up, we got two really great interviews ahead of us. Um, let's talk about the last three, though. The last three, um, everybody was a little bit controversial in what they were saying. Um, but that's what I like. I like to give, I like to give everybody the chance just to get their shit out and pretty much remain anonymous for the most part because uh, you guys don't see their faces um, you just hear the voices but in one form or another I'm sure you can relate to them um, and that's why I like having the guests that I have these are people that I've met throughout my life and, uh, and they, they, they just happen to be some of the most interesting people that I've talked to and have done things with. Hold on a second. So, Jason Oblivion, obviously conservative. Um, he leans more towards the uh, libertarian, because he's, he's tired of both parties. He leans more toward the libertarian from his ideas. Um, he was he wasn't for the Black Lives Movement and he's entitled to his opinion. I have mine. Um, then we had Gino who told you so. Who, you know, is for Black Lives Matter. He's pro Black Lives Matter, as you should be. Um, both of them are both African Americans. And then just recently we had Keith Arden on here. Was an avid, an avid Trump supporter. He quote, unquote, said he's possibly the greatest president in the history of America, next to Ronald Reagan. Um, okay, I don't agree at all. But uh, when was the last time we had a damn Obama was a decent president? I, a lot of people complain about shit he did, but I never saw anything wrong. The economy wasn't bad. People had jobs. You know, he took on a shitstorm that was left to him by uh, by Bush. Oh, and he killed Bin Laden. So stick that up your tailpipe. Whoever didn't like it. I swear to God, people don't. <laughs> I hate to use this, but people, a lot of racist people I know hate him. <laughs> so if that's the underlining reason, then just admit it. Nobody likes to admit they're racist, but just tell somebody in confidence. Just to get it out of your system so you stop blaming the man for a bunch of shit that wasn't his fault to begin with. Um, this is the stoner's perspective. Uh, I recently got on an app called uh, Hi There, H I G H, there. Um, it's for people who uh, want to hang out and smoke with you, or people that are just in town for night and, and some bad. In Arizona, it is legal to sell patient to patient or to share patient to patient if the sale doesn't exceed 20% of the amount sold. So, I had to look this shit up. Um, anyway, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching this. I appreciate it. Uh, thank everybody for listening. And uh, see you soon. I should probably make a video again sometime soon. But I'm usually too busy smoking. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the next two podcasts. R3, a professional wrestler uh, that I met when he first started, and he's come to his own. Um, is recently embracing a new identity in his personal life. Uh, and then we have Dan S. who's coming on. Dan S. is an advocate 
for uh, better pay for people, or for better benefits and for um, hazard pay for people who worked uh, during the beginning of the outbreak and worked all the way to the end. I'm one of those people too. Um, personally, I, do I think we should be treated any different? No. Um, not me. Not in my job. Um, but uh, benefits are in place and hazard pay would be really great too.